Welcome or welcome back to another video by Helenica.com. Last time we discussed the Marble King among other Byzantine legends. Today we will discover the stories of the priest who vanished in Hagia Sophia, the secret of the Sea of Marmara, the giant mermaid and the Christian dragon slayer. One of the greatest architectural wonders of Byzantine history is the Orthodox Christian Basilica of Hagia Sophia, Holy Wisdom. The church is located at the old city of Constantinople, and it is surrounded by numerous legends. One of the stories is the legend of the vanishing priest. When the Ottoman troops attacked the city of Constantinople on the spring of 1453, they entered Hagia Sophia in search of civilians who might have sought refuge there. According to the legend, a priest was holding a liturgy at that time. Before the troops were able to catch him, he entered a door and vanished. The door closed behind him and couldn't be opened nor destroyed. Rumor has it that the door will open once Hagia Sophia becomes a Greek Orthodox church again. The priest will reappear and continue the liturgy. If you know any additional details regarding this legend, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. The Sea of Marmara, also known as Propontis, connects the Aegean Sea to the Black Sea. It is the area ancient Greeks from Megara explored before they established the colony of Byzantium, as we've seen in the first episode. There is reportedly a part of Propodis that is always calm. The passage is safe to cross, no matter the weather conditions. According to a Byzantine legend, this part of the Sea of Marmara has a secret. That is the Agia Trapeza, the holy table, of Hagia Sophia. According to a book by the Greek intellectual Dorotheos Monemvasias, three Venetian ships had reportedly taken the Hagia Trapeza and other relics from Hagia Sophia, intending to bring them in Venice. The Byzantines wanted to protect Christian relics from the Ottomans who had invaded Constantinople. As the Venetians transported the items, the vessel that transported the Agia Trapeza sank. The holy table is reportedly still at the bottom of the sea for someone to discover, and the area seems to be unaffected by the weather conditions. When hearing the term mermaid, a beautiful creature comes to mind. Half woman, half fish, probably looking like Ariel. But there is a mermaid in Greek folklore that is feared by sailors and islanders all over Greece. This is the Gorgona, a giant mermaid who is supposedly related to Alexander the Great. Although inspired by historical figures of late antiquity, the myth of the Gorgona probably originates in Byzantium. This was the time period in which the mythical sirens, the half-bird, half-women creatures, turned into the mermaids we know today. According to this legend, Princess Thessaloniki, half-sister of Alexander the Great, had washed her hair with the water of the Fountain of Immortality. That meant it would be impossible to die even if she tried to. When her brother, Alexander, died, the princess was shocked. She attempted to end her life by jumping into the sea from a cliff, but instead of dying, she turned into a mermaid. A giant mermaid, to be precise, who terrified seamen and islanders. The Saloniki then migrated to the Black Sea, but she would sometimes return to the northern Aegean in search of her brother. The legend says that she desperately asks the sailors if King Alexander is alive. If they give her a positive reply, she dives into the water, looking happy. If they reply no, Gorgona destroys the vessel. After a while, she regrets her action and starts crying, causing a storm. 
Do you know any other variation of the story? Comment down below. George of Lida was a Roman soldier of Greek origin who is recognized as a Christian saint. The saint is associated with a Byzantine legend, the one of the evil dragon. There are many variations of the story, but the most popular one takes place in Libya. George of Lida was passing by a Libyan city when he saw a beautiful woman crying while being transported to an unspecified location. St. George overheard that the woman was selected to be fed to a bloodthirsty dragon that terrorized the area. The dragon looked like a winged giant lizard. It breathed fire and was able to kill humans from a distance. Rumor had it that it had arrived in the area centuries ago, causing chaos. The locals managed to appease the beast by offering it to sheep but they would do the same every year to make sure that the dragon doesn't attack their city. But there was a time when there was no more livestock to feed the dragon. Or, according to another variation, the dragon couldn't be appeased by feeding on animals. It demanded human flesh. For the past few years, a member of the local community, usually a peasant, was selected annually to be fed to the dragon. The selection process was not clarified, but we assume that they used a draw. That year, the unlucky human to be sacrificed was no other than the beloved princess of the city. The locals protested, but no one was willing to take her place. St. George was moved by the story. He wanted to end this custom, just like Theseus did in the myth of the Minotaur. The soldier saint followed the trail that led to the dragon and stopped the princess from entering his lair. He volunteered to be the offering, but as the beast lay down, waiting to be fed, St. George revealed the spear he had hidden and killed the dragon to everyone's surprise. It goes without saying that the local king named the soldier a hero and offered him a fortune but St. George distributed the treasures to the locals instead. It is important to note that St. George is not the only Christian dragon slayer. Similar legends and stories have spread all over the world. If you know any of these, feel free to share in the comment section. Now, if you haven't watched the previous videos covering various Byzantine legends, don't forget to do so. In Hellenica's channel, but also in hellenica.com, you can find plenty of videos and articles on the Greek language, history and culture. Don't forget to subscribe and follow Hellenica on social media to stay connected. Till next time!